What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Draw Preview, and we have a big event this week, the Miami Open. It's a WTA and ATP event going on at the same time in the one venue. It's a big, big event for the women, but a lot of players have pulled out. Let's go check it out. So the players that have pulled out so far before the tournament has started, we have Hercog, Shay, Kazakina's pulled out, which is unfortunate because she's been in a little bit of form lately. Lee, Mukova, Pavlichenkova, Strikov has pulled out, Teague, Van Udvank, Vekic has also pulled out, and the biggest name to pull out, Serena Williams. She is not playing the Miami Open. And also, Yastremska is still on a provisional suspension. All right, starting at the top of the draw, there are 96 players playing this event, 32 seeds, and all 32 seeds get a buy in the first round. So this is like a mini Grand Slam with the number of players that are playing. Top seed, Ash Barty, and the defending champion, of course, from 2019, she gets a buy in the first round. She'll play a qualifier in the second round no matter what because we've got two qualies going at it in the first round. So good start for Barty. Then we have Ostapenko versus the wildcard Wang. Winner of that match is going to take on number 25 seed, Risk in the second round. Then we have the number 24 seed Kerber already into the second round. She'll play the winner of Habino or a qualifier in the second round. Then we have Mikhail versus Sigamund in that first round match. Winner of that gets to take on number 14 seed Azarenka in the second round. And straight away, you can see we have four Grand Slam champions in this part of the draw. We have Barty, Ostapenko, Kerber, and Azarenka. So a stacked part of the draw here for Barty. She's trying to defend all those points and defend the title. She might have to take on Azarenka in the fourth round. That's a tough matchup. Second part of the draw now, we have the number 11 seed, Benchich, getting a buy in the first round. She'll take the winner of Diaz versus Venus Williams in the second round. So Venus versus Benchich. That'll be a fun matchup. Then we have a qualifier versus Wang. Winner of that's going to play against number 19 seed, Vondra Sova in the second round. Then we have the number 32 seed, Kudamatova, getting a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Marjanovic or Collins, who are playing in the first round. Then we have a qualifier versus Kostjak. The winner of that's going to play against number 7 seed, Sabalenka. So this part of the draw isn't as stacked as you'd probably expect. Benchich has been okay this year. Sabalenka's been good. But other than that, there's not too many players here that stand out, especially on a hard court. Don't forget the winner of this part of the draw in the quarter quarterfinals will take on the top section of the draw. So we could get Sabalenka versus Azarenka. Sabalenka versus Barty. So remember that when we go forward. Third part of the draw now, we've got Simona Halep, the number three seed, buying the first round. She'll take on the winner of a qualifier versus Garcia in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier versus Sevastova in the first round. Winner of that's going to take on number 31 seed, Coco Goff. So straight away, we could be getting a third round meeting between Goff and Halep, which is going to be a great matchup. I'm very excited to see that one. Then we've got number 18 seed, Keys, buying the first round. She'll take on either Sinikova or the wild card, Konju, who are playing in the first round. Then we have Krajikova versus Blinkova. Winner of that is going to take on number 15 seed, Sviontek. So again, straight away, you can see fourth round potential meeting between Halep and Sviontek. It's been a fun match over the last six months that I've been looking forward to watching every single tournament they've both played. And we could be getting that again in the Miami tournament, maybe in the fourth round. All right, rounding out the top half of the draw now, we have the number nine seed, Kvitova. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of Cornet versus Kuznetsova in the first round. So not an easy start for Kvitova, who is in a little bit of form. She won a title a couple of weeks ago. Then we have Lynette versus the wildcard Montgomery. Winner of that will take on number 17 seed, Conta, in the second round. Then we have the number 30 seed, Alexandrova, getting a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Podoroska or the wildcard Sharif, who are playing in the first round. Then we've got a battle of the Americans in the first round between Rogers and Brengel. Winner of that will take on number five seed, Svetolina, who hasn't been in the best form in 2021. She's lost matches that she should have won. But maybe being the number five seed, she might be able to sneak through the draw in this one. All right, let's go to the top of the bottom half now. We've got the number eight seed, Andrescu. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Svedova or a qualifier in the second round. Then we have Stevens versus a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that's going to take on number 28 seed, Anisimova, in the second round. Then we have the number 20 seed, Martic. Buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of the wildcard, Kalinskaya, or Bagu in the second round. Then in the first round, we've got Pedersen versus a wildcard, Wang. Winner of that will take on number 12 seed and probably the best player of 2021, Muguruza. And again, you can see straight away, Fourth round, Muguruza on Drescu. What a match that'll be if we can get it. But don't sleep on Anisimova because she can produce some goods, especially when she's playing in front of her home crowd. So watch out for Anisimova. But I want to see Andrescu versus Muguruza. That'd be epic in the fourth round. All right, going to the next part of the draw, we have the number 13 seed, Brady. And of course, the Australian Open finalist. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Pera or Tormo in the second round. And Tormo's been in some form, so watch out for her. Then we have Kanepi versus Davis. 
Winner of that's going to play number 21 seed, Rybakina, in the second round. Then we have the number 27 seed, Jabor, getting a bye in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Teichman or Badossa in the second round. Then we have Pekovic versus Zhang in the first round. Winner of that's going to take on number four seed, Sophia Kennan, who we haven't seen for a while. So this is the first time we're going to see Kennan for a couple of months. And I'm excited to see how she does here, especially in Miami. And being back in front of her home crowd, you could say, in the USA. Going to the next part of the draw, we have the number six seed, Pliskova, bye in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Zhang or Ferro in the second round. Then we have a qualifier versus the wildcard Sanders. Winner of that's going to take on number 29 seed Pagula. And straight away you can see that Pliskova might have to take on Pagula again in 2021 in the third round. And Pagula's got the wins over Pliskova. So Pliskova, absolutely nightmare. Third round matchup potentially against Pagula, who has beaten her a lot this year. Then we have number 23 seed Sakari in the second round. She'll be playing the winner of Buskova or Rus, who are playing in the first round. Then we have Georgie versus a qualifier. Winner of that will take on number 10 seed Bert in the second round. And this part of the draw, wide open. Pagula, being informed, please give her the highest seed in this part of the draw. And Sakari, she looks like she's ready to do something good as well. And Kiki Burton's still on the comeback. So this part of the draw, super wide open for me. And rounding out the draw, the very bottom part of the draw, we have Mertens, the number 16 seed, by in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Pliskova or Bolta in the second round. Now, of course, that is not the main Pliskova. It is the sister of Pliskova. Then we have Kastea versus the wildcard Scott. Winner of that's going to take on number 22 seed Kontovit in the second round. Then we have the number 26 seed Putin Seba. By in the first round, she'll take on the winner of Watson or a qualifier who are playing in the first round. Then we have Potapova versus Tom Manovich in the first round. Winner of that gets to take on the Australian Open champion, number two seed, Naomi Osaka, who we haven't seen since lifting the trophy in Australia. So let's see how how she does, but there's some dangerous players here. Tomjanovic, she almost beat Halep at the Australian Open. Putin Sev has beaten Osaka in the past. And also Mertens, she's been in some form. So watch out, Osaka. Not an easy part of the draw for her. So there you have it. That is the draw for Miami, and it is absolutely stacked. It feels like a mini Grand Slam, except for all the buys in the first round. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? It's very wide open, as the WTA always is. But there are some names there that I like, especially because they've got nice draws as well. So let me know down in the comments below who is winning it for you. So this was a very tough one to pick. There are some players that have some good draws. And I'm going to back Sabalenka to do something crazy here because she has got a good draw. She's probably in the easiest part of the draw for her. And if she can get through players like Barty or Azarenka, Halep or Sviontek in the quarters and semifinals, she can make it to the final quite easily. So I'm going to back Sabalenka, who has been pretty good this year. So again, let me know down in the comments below who are you picking for this one. So the Miami Open for the WTA. It's absolutely stacked. Can't wait to watch it next week.